Uh, hi, I'm Steve. Um, I'll be talking about Boot to Docker, uh, which is a lightweight Linux only for booting Docker images. So uh, Boot to Docker, it started really as a simple idea, actually. It started as a joke. Uh, we were at the Docker Hack Day, and we were like, yeah, you know what? Maybe, you know what, a Docker image doesn't need a Docker, like, a Linux host, a Docker Linux distribution host. So we left it up. We're like, yeah, nice. But then again, we found out it's a pretty serious thing. You know, it could pretty much work. Because what we have today, so you have your metal, of course, then on which boots the, um, the Linux kernel, on which boots your, like, usual end Linux distribution with Docker, of course, and you have your containers, which can be Ubuntu, uh, Debian, you name it. But what we really want to have, though, is this. It's like only the metal, the kernel, of course, because you get to share it, and Docker, which only boots the, uh, the container, Ubuntu, you name it. So the hunt was on to, um, to find a Linux distribution that could like, serve a purpose, which is be as small as possible, but then again, be uh, flexible enough so we could you know, put, put you know, Docker in it and start it and get running. Turns out there is. There's one Linux distribution called Tiny Core Linux, and its sole goal is to be the smallest Linux distribution possible, which is pretty much aligned to our goal um, too. Think about it like the ISO file is nine megabytes, which is incredibly small, and boots in three seconds. Seriously, the first time I booted it, I was, okay, 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 cool. <laughs> it's version 5.3, which is very important for one reason only, which means it's alive. People get to work on it and commit it's not like you come up on some GitHub and the last commit is two years ago and you're like, oh, crap. No, no, it, it's still alive. It has a binary repository. You can get to install packages and stuff. And it has a pretty big community. So that was pretty much, you know, the, uh, the best thing we could find for Boot to Docker. And turns out, we did. So what Boot to Docker is, it's a 25 megabyte ISO file you get to boot on virtual machines, bare metal. In fact, you can even DD the ISO file to a USB key or a hard drive, and it will boot, because there's a hack in the ISO uh, specifications anyway. It's read-only, so it runs entirely from RAM. So people get ask me, you know what, what, what's the deal with it? Well, the truth is, because the OS is read-only and it's only 25 megabytes, when you want to upgrade it, you just overwrite the ISO file, you reboot it, it's done. There's no like, yeah, IPT, whatever, upgrade, which fails or something. So it just works, right? Of course, it has disk persistence for containers. It has all the cool things uh, you might want to use. It's built with Docker, of course. And actually, Boot to Docker builds with Boot to Docker. That, that's how we, we build it anyway. So if you want to take it, hack it, you know, you can just grab the Docker file, Docker build, done. There's nothing to do anymore. Everything is contained. It's, it's pretty cool. So here you see it booting in action. So I'm not saying snake oil. It's really booting that fast. So this is the BIOS. Don't, don't. It's booting the kernel, and we are done. And now you can get to run Docker run, uh, whatever container you want to run. So here, this is a busy box container. The machine is a virgin state, by the way. So you get to see it real time. So yeah, it works. In terms of traction, we're I think we're doing pretty good. We have uh, over 2,000 stars on GitHub. My mailbox is pretty much filled every, each morning with you know, boot to Docker related, uh, GitHub related uh, issues. We have more than 150 forks, 47 contributors, 16 releases. We just released uh, 0.91, which is you know, in sync with, doc, with the Docker releases as well. We have over 250,000 downloads, accumulated, of course, but still, it's a, I think we're doing pretty good. And also, on top of that, there's a, an ecosystem that's got built around it. We have tools like Docker CLI to manage the virtual machines from the command line. Uh, we have an installer. We have a Windows installer as well, so you can get to use Docker from Windows. We have Hyper-V support coming uh, later uh, this month. We have also an amazing team. Uh, so. These folks, they started responding to issues before I did. So they pretty much stepped up and took over the work. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty proud of them. And that's it. Thank you very much.